So the nitrogen cycle, as you can see, nitrogen is present in the atmosphere, right? The carbon was also present in atmosphere, but the plants were taking the carbon from the atmosphere directly. Not the case for the nitrogen. Nitrogen is not being able to be taken by the plants directly from the atmosphere or from the air. Uh, can you tell me what, what should be the reason that the plants are not able to take the nitrogen directly? Because of? High temperature, high pressure chahiye hota hai, elemental nitrogen ko break down karne ke liya and that is why it is not possible for plants to take in the elemental nitrogen. The bond is triple bond which has to be broken which requires a huge energy and that is why the nitrogen in the atmosphere is being broken down by high energy processes. For example, lightning provides so much of energy. Similarly, your nitrogen fixing bacteria is a symbiotic bacteria because it takes the energy to break down the bond and that energy is what is being taken back by it in the symbiosis through the plants. So, ye jo puri energy is ko pe milti hai, that is what is being released when the nitrogen bond is being broken. Yaha pe the nitrogen is being fixed in the soil. From here, it is then converted into ammonia. <clears throat> this process is known as ammonification. Now, it is not that you are fixing the nitrogen in the soil and then it can be taken by the plants directly. Aapne air se nitrogen ko soil mein fix kar diya, then also it is not usable by the plants. It has to be converted in a form in which it can be absorbed by the plants and that happens after two more processes. That is ammonification and nitrification. The ammonification happens here from nitrogen in the soil which is converted to ammonia. Ammonia is then converted to nitrites. The <coughs> process from ammonia to nitrites is taken by a group of bacteria which are known as nitrosomonas and nitrococcus. Nitrite is then converted to nitrate which is being undertaken by nitrobacter, <coughs> another group of bacteria. Ab yaha pe <coughs> ye jo nitrate hai, this is what is being taken up by the plants. It is neither ammonia nor nitrite. It is the nitrate that the plants take up which is known as assimilation of the nitrogen or assimilation stage. So, <clears throat> pe jo nitrogen hai plants ke paas, that is what is given to the next trophic levels. That is how it enters the living biomass. Clear? Tak. Now, after this step, the nitrate step, the nitrogen is released back into the atmosphere through a process known as denitrification which is taken up by another group of bacteria such as pseudomonas. And yaha se nitrogen pahunch rahi hai atmosphere mein thereby completing the cycle. <coughs> the problem here is that these many processes and these many sets of bacteria are actually slowing down the entire cycle. If you look at it from the perspective of human uh, resource needs, that means we require a lot of food resources and we can't wait for such a complex cycle to operate naturally and then give the nitrogen to the plants. So, we started to undertake this mechanism artificially by manufacturing your fertilizers, NPK fertilizer. So, natural tarika tha nitrogen soil mein pahunchane ka was through nitrogen fixing bacteria or through lightning. Sometimes even volcanic eruptions release so much amount of energy that nitrogen would get fixed. But any which way, these are the two major sources. Now, through NPK fertilizers that we were releasing over here, this <coughs> huge application of fertilizer re uh, resulted in your agricultural runoffs. Agricultural runoffs means nutrient enrichment of the water bodies. Yani, yaha pe water bodies mein itna nutrient pahuncha that it led to eutrophication which eventually led to harmful algal bloom. So, here the problem that happened is agricultural runoff, eutrophication, eventually harmful algal blooms thereby making the water bodies dead. Jo mein kal aap ko tha. There would be a carpet of algae which would block the sunlight and oxygen diffusion. Kal bataya tha. Yes, and eventually the water body after a point of time would lose its biodiversity and it would eventually would become completely dead. 
so that is one problem that is happening another problem that is happening because of this fertilizer plants that are operating is that nitrogen is increasing in the atmosphere through emissions also through fossil fuel burning that are happening across the <coughs> globe that is through vehicles as well as through the industries so these fossil fuel burning and the fertilizer plants are further increasing the nitrogen concentration in the atmosphere now nitrogen in the atmosphere when it is present it is in the form of oxides for example nitrogen oxides they are <coughs> denoted as nox kisi bhi form mein ho sakta hai no2 no3 so these oxides of nitrogen here they are increasing ye jo nox hai they are responsible for kya problem hoti hai agar nox bahut high ho air mein तो ये जो नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड पोल्यूटेंट हैं, दे आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर डायरेक्ट एयर पोल्यूशन दे आर इम्पैक्टिंग आर रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम्स आर म्यूकोजल मेम्ब्रेन आर इम्यूनिटी आर आईज आर नोज थ्रोट इयर एवरीथिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द म्यूकोजल म्यूकोजा दैट इज प्रेजेंट विच आर बींग इनक्लेम्ड secondly these air pollutants that is oxides of nitrogen are responsible for one more thing which is known as smog. <coughs> smog सुना है S M O G smog. what we are experiencing because of oxides of nitrogen is photochemical smog which happens mostly in tropical countries in the presence of sunlight to yahan pe ek problem hui hame ko in water bodies that was harmful algal blooms second problem in the air was air pollution directly due to oxides of nitrogen secondly smog formation बाकी नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड्स जब वाटर के साथ कंबाइन करेंगे व्हाट विल यू हैव नाइट्रिक एसिड दैट मींस वी वुड आल्सो बी अंडर एसिड रेन पहले हम लोग ने ओशंस में एसिड फैलाया फिर हमें लगा कि कितनी बायोडाइवर्सिटी बर्बाद हुई अभी टेरिस्ट्रियल बची है सो लेट्स हैव एसिड रेन एंड लेट्स सी व्हाट इज द इंपैक्ट ऑफ एसिड ऑन अदर ऑर्गेनिज्म सो हियर द थर्ड प्रॉब्लम इज एसिड रेन a fourth and associated problem with smog is formation of ozone oxides of nitrogen along with vocs that is volatile organic compounds together would <coughs> combine to make ozone at the ground level ozone kaha honi chahiye ideally the ozone is in stratosphere and that is good ozone because it is blocking harmful Uh, solar radiations from reaching the earth and that is how it is protecting us from these uv radiations but the ozone on the ground level is a pollutant and this pollutant is getting formed because of oxides of nitrogen so you have so many problems because we have started to apply nitrogen artificially in the fields and this nitrogen manufacturing is producing oxides of nitrogen plus nitrogen is also being released oxides are also being released due to burning of fossil fuels आप लोग ने सुना होगा दैट इंडिया हैज स्विच फ्रॉम बी एस फोर टू बी एस सिक्स भारत स्टेज फोर टू भारत स्टेज सिक्स दैट हैज बीन डन टू रिड्यूस एमिशन ऑफ सल्फर ऑक्साइड एंड नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड ये भारत स्टेज सिक्स इंट्रोड्यूस होते ही इंटरनल कम्बशन इंजिन जो होते हैं आपके आईसी इंजिन व्हीकल्स में उनकी डिजाइन इस तरह से चेंज की गई है दैट द एमिशन ऑफ सल्फर एंड नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड हैज बीन रिड्यूस टू अ सिग्निफिकेंट एक्सटेंट दे आर बाई ब्रिंगिंग डाउन दीज प्रॉब्लम्स अगर आपका कार्बन मोनोक्साइड होता है एज अ पल्यूटेंट और से पार्टिकुलेट मैटर देन दीज आर द पल्यूटेंट जो डायरेक्टली आपको इम्पैक्ट कर रहे हैं लाइक दे आर नॉट लीडिंग टू एनी फर्दर कॉजेस बट ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन एंड सल्फर दे लीड टू फर्दर स्मॉक फॉर्मेशन एंड एसिड रेन तो ये एडेड प्रॉब्लम जो इनकी वजह से होती है दैट इज वॉट इज प्रॉब्लमैटिक ठीक है सो हियर यू हैव इशूज लाइक एसिड रेन एयर पोल्यूशन स्मॉक अब ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन में कई बार यू ऑल्सो हैव नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड एन टू ओ विच इज अ ग्रीन हाउस गैस दैट विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ग्लोबल वार्मिंग तो एन टू ओ वाले फॉर्म में अगर नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड्स होते हैं देन इट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल ऑल्सो फॉर ग्लोबल वार्मिंग एज अनदर एडेड प्रॉब्लम ठीक है 
यहाँ पे आए अवॉइड राइटिंग नहीं तो फिर आप लोग वो ऑक्साइड ऑफ नाइट्रोजन में कंफ्यूज होकर एनओ टू एनओ थ्री को भी ग्रीन हाउस गैस मान लेते हो इसीलिए विल टेक इट अप इन द क्लाइमेट चेंज यहाँ पे जस्ट टेक टू एयर पोल्यूशन नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड इज अ ग्रीन हाउस गैस एन टू ओ उस फॉर्म में है ठीक है नॉट द अदर ऑक्साइड Now here also the animal waste, the excretory waste and dead and decaying organism, they are uh, releasing the nitrogen in the form of ammonia. यानी यहाँ से भी अगर nitrogen जा रही है, then it is in the form of ammonia. It is not in the form of nitrate. Rather, the ammonia has then to be converted to nitrate. ठीक है? तो ये पूरी cycle ऐसे ही operate होती है. You cannot have direct nitrogen from any of the processes. पूरा uh, a number of bacteria have to be involved. for the nitrogen to be available to the plants for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications